Welcome to Ace Code Tech Talk number six, posting cutters with a setup stand. The following procedure outlines the steps for posting up ASCO knives in a finger joint head. Before you begin, make sure the setup stand is bolted to a stable workbench. All nuts and washers should be installed with anti-seize compound. Nuts should be no more than finger tight at this point. Wipe away excess anti-seize from top plate, nuts, and washers. Do not allow anti-seize to get between the cutters or cutters and bottom of the top plate. Rotate all the cutter stacks back toward the center mast of the head before placing the head on the setup stand. The rolled back knife stacks will allow maximum clearance between the cutters and the alignment posts when lowering the head into position, preventing damage to the knives. Verify that the alignment dowel is placed in the center position. There are three locating holes drilled into the bottom plate of the setup stand. The center hole is for aligning, posting up the cutters. The left and right pin locations are for torquing. The left hole is for torquing clockwise rotating heads, and the right hole is for torquing counterclockwise rotating heads. Slowly lower the head onto the mast of the setup stand. Do not drop the head. Verify that the alignment dowel is safely inserted into the machined recess of the bolt head. Always install bolt one down on the alignment dowel each time the cutters are aligned or reposted. This will aid in identifying any alignment or grinding issues that may arise in the future. Lightly position the cutters against the alignment post from the top of the stack downward. It may help to finger tighten the nuts to help hold the knives in position. If the cutters are difficult to move, it may be necessary to loosen the nuts on adjacent bolts. It is helpful to use a pull-up tool to rotate the cutters against the alignment post. Do not use excessive force when positioning the cutters against the alignment post, as a distortion of the post may result. As each cutter stack is aligned against the post, Lightly tighten each nut with a wrench. Grip the head of the wrench to avoid over tightening. Take care. Knife stacks can move away from the alignment post. Check all knives on all stacks with a two thousandths, 0 0.050 millimeter thick piece of shim stock. The shim should be cut to a point approximately 40 thousandths, one millimeter in width, so each individual cutter may be checked. If the two thousandths shim can be inserted between the cutter and post, that knife is not posted correctly and must be pulled against the alignment post before proceeding. Loosen the nut, repost the cutter, and recheck the stack. This check will reduce the grinding time required to equalize all cutters. When all cutter stacks have been checked, rotate the head back away from the alignment post to the pin location for torquing. Again, the center hole is for aligning the cutters. The left and right pin locations are for torquing. Do not torque bolts with cutters against the alignment post. Torque all nuts to 25 foot-pounds, 35 newton meters, in a crisscross pattern. Rotate the head to the alignment pin location again and recheck with a 2000s shim as outlined earlier. Reposition any rolled back cutters against the alignment post. You will have to back the nut off to repost the cutters. If the cutters are difficult to move, it will be necessary to loosen the nuts on the adjacent bolts. When all cutter stacks have been checked and corrected, reposition head on the correct torquing pin and proceed with torquing in a crisscross pattern in 50 foot pound, 70 newton meter increments. For three quarter inch diameter bolts, a maximum of 250 foot pounds or 340 newton meters is recommended. For 9 16 diameter bolts, a maximum of 140 foot pounds or 190 newton meters is recommended. Over tightening can result in bolt and or head damage. Under tightening can cause cutter and head damage. Torque values may be different for different cutter stack height variations. 
Call ASCO for assistance if torque value is in question. When all bolts have been torqued to the proper value, repeat the torquing sequence one final time. Have your torque wrench calibrated at least once every year. Never use a torque wrench to break loose a tightened nut. Use a breaker bar to loosen the nuts. From all of us here in Boise, Idaho, we'd like to thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something.